Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in, and today we're going to talk about Spiritual Weapon uh, and how great this spell is. Uh, we are giving it an A uh, right off the bat. Uh, I believe that this spell is, is a pretty superior spell. It's used in almost every combat when you have a class that can actually use this spell. So uh, that, that's part of the reason I'm giving it an A. So let's, let's get into it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right. So Spiritual Weapon is a second level spell that is usable by clerics, life domain clerics, war domain clerics, and oath of conquest paladins. So it's not a lot of classes that can use it, but there are a few cleric domains that get it as a freebie. But pretty much all clerics do take this spell. So for one minute and as a bonus action, so one, this spell doesn't require concentration, and two, it's a bonus action. So that gives it a lot of ease of use and versatility. It has a range of 60 feet. That's great. It lasts for an entire minute, and you can move it around. It's got a verbal and somatic component. Um, so you create a weapon within the range of the spell. Again, it's 60 feet. Um, <clears throat> when you cast a spell, it makes an attack against a creature within five feet of it. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 plus your spellcasting modifier, and then you can upcast that, and it'll cause more damage. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against a creature within five feet of it. Now, it doesn't say that that weapon has to be on the ground. It says you can move it. And so you can cast this spell anywhere within 60 feet, even at opponents that are uh, flying or in the air, and you can move it up to 20 feet, and then it immediately repeats the attack. The weapon can choose whatever form you want, um, I, and I've seen some crazy looking things. I mean, if you if you watch Crit Roll, they, uh, Critical Roll, they, they've used a lot of really bizarro things, but generally it's supposed to follow the, the shape of your deity. Now you can upcast this, when you upcast this, it does a d8 damage for every two levels above two um now two levels not every level every two levels above two uh, slots above two so at fourth level it does 2d8 plus your spell casting modifier at sixth level it does 3d8 at eighth level it does 4d8 but remember it's a bonus action to use it and it's doing that every single turn <clears throat> so um this allows a cleric who is mainly concentrating on healing party members to at least contribute some damage to a combat uh, by putting this spell out as a bonus action. And then, um, you know, maybe because of the rule, because this is a spell, and if you cast this as a bonus action, you only cast a cantrip in that round. But in later rounds, you're not casting. A, you, you, you all, all you're doing to interact with the spell is using a bonus action so you're not actually casting a spell which means you can cast other spells and you can attack with this so all right that's what i got for everybody today i appreciate everybody tuning in and i will catch everybody later